primary teachers, welcome to Best Practices Weekly. Today we'll look at an article that will help us mathematize our read-alouds, something that a lot of primary teachers already do. They bring math concepts into their read-aloud time, but using these steps can help us make sure that we make the most of those moments. You can find mathematizing read-alouds in three easy steps in the October 2013 edition of The Reading Teacher. So I love that this article comes from the reading teacher because I think children's literature provides us as teachers a great opportunity to help students connect math and difficult math concepts to their lives. And it also can give students um, a visual of math concepts or a way to connect with math in a different way through storylines, through literature. And so why would teachers mathematize a read aloud? Well, it really gives us a great opportunity to think aloud and model math thinking and math talk. Um, literature can also engage students in math concepts in real world application settings. And so it can just kind of help them think about math in a different way as they see it unfold throughout the story and through the illustrations. Now, when choosing a text to mathematize, there are three different types to consider. The first is text dependent. That type of a story is one where the math concept is so interwoven with the plot of the story that it's really difficult to understand what's happening in the story unless you understand the math concept. An example of this type of story would be two of everything, where if you didn't understand that the magic pot was doubling everything and you didn't really have a grasp on doubles, it would be hard to understand the story. The next type of text you might have is an idea enhancing text to where you don't really have to understand the math concept in the story, but it's something that teachers can pull out of the um, book to, to draw upon. Maybe things, um, a book like Rainbow Fish might be an example of an idea enhancing book where you can count back of how many scales he gives away. That's an option to add to the book. And the last is illustration exploring. And that is where you can use the pictures in the book to, to connect math concepts to the real world. For example, in the snowy day, you could count by twos in, of the set, sets of footprints that you see in the snow. Once you've chosen a book to mathematize and you've decided what type of text you're working with, step two would be to explore the text. You want to make sure that you bring math concepts up for discussion before the reading, during the reading, and after the reading. Try to make the reading lively and fun, encourage discussion, and try to make those connections throughout the book to the math concept that the book lends itself to teaching. So step three is a really essential step, step to mathematizing a read aloud. It's called extending the text. So this step would help give students an opportunity to use what they've learned about math and think deeply about the math concept that you've introduced through the read aloud. The options to do this are wide open from partner discussions to making personal connections to writing or drawing in response to a prompt to even writing their own word problem that goes along with the type of problems that they saw in the book or writing a new experience for Rainbow Fish and how many scales she's, she gives away. So really, the creativity here is yours to just run with. You can make this step whatever you want. Just encourage students to make sense of the math concepts that you introduce through the book and to think deeply about those concepts in real world application. Okay, so I bet that you can't wait to go back and look through your classroom libraries, identify some type of text you can mathematize, talk about math concepts before, during, and after reading, and then also extend the text into some type of activity that helps your primary students think deeply about math. Come back to our website and let us know how it goes. Thanks for joining us.